let's talk. I want to balance the positive and negative. Talano Hufanga comes out and just put together a freaking master class. Which, this was one of our biggest concerns was how would Hufunga be, you know, next to Jimmy Ward? Well, Jimmy Ward's injured. Gibson played pretty well as well. Oh, my gosh. But, yes. I'll, I'll cover Gibson. You take, you take Hufunga. <laughs> Hufunga was everywhere. He finishes the second highest rated safety in the NFL after week one. Uh, across all 32 teams. So that's I have to ask safeties. who was number Go. one, John. I don't mean to cut you off, but I need to. Oh, uh, no, no, no. I got you. I, I, don't, I, want to, I got it right he here. He played better than Hufanga in week one, bro. Because Hufanga so, was everywhere. Derek Forrest of Washington, uh, okay. fifth round pick last year, had the highest grade. Um, and just barely, he had a 91.5. Hufanga had a 90.8. Uh, that was kind of the big one out of Cincinnati. So he had the highest grade. Hufunga two, Fitzpatrick three, Harrison Smith four. Uh, those were the top four. Again, doesn't tell the whole story, but the consistent great plays of Hufunga. I mean, li- listen to this: eleven tackles, two mm-hmm. tackles for loss, mm-hmm. one pass breakup, one interception mm-hmm. in one game. Led the team in tackles, tackle for loss, interceptions, and pass breakups. He was clearly the best player on the field for the defense. Clearly. Yes. Clearly, and he was on in on every play. But John, um, you're the Uh-oh. coach. Uh oh. And uh oh. I really think that one bad play was on him, bro. I agree. I agree. I uh, do agree. And, and 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 it's not necessarily like I'm not. It sucks, though, because he has such a great game, and everybody wants to pass that one off on Greenlaw, but Greenlaw was in his zone. Like and 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 whoever's supposed to take the top of that zone, like let's say let's say we're playing zone right, and you run across my zone. If the ball is thrown, I'm gonna be there, but I'm supposed to pass you off because my job is to play in this in that specific spot, right? Just in case yes. somebody else comes. Who? Go ahead, John. I'm sorry. No, you're right. Uh, who? That's all. Who? Funga. And but I'll say this. That play, which I haven't gotten to for Patreon yet, I got the first half done. Uh, that's showing up in the morning. Second half will be done um, tomorrow probably as well. Um, but, yeah, you're right. Hufunga should have stayed home. But whenever you've got a player that is an instinctual player like Hufunga, you're gonna get those. That's, those are going to happen, especially whenever it's a five-plus-second quarterback scramble. Those things are going to happen. Um, and so – it's a huge miss. You know, I personally, I don't think that's on Hufunga as much as I think it's on the D line. You give a quarterback five seconds to scramble back there. Okay. That's that's on the D line. Hey John, let's but, have this conversation, bro, because yeah. I still feel like the defensive line, even though they had two sacks and a total of the 13 pressures, was the weakest link because they couldn't get home. And they could and, not. and lots and, of missed tackles. Lots of missed tackles. Now they contained very well. Um, the majority of the game, except for that, the end of the first half, they stopped containing him, and then uh, they started to get back onto that containment assignment. And shout out to the linebackers because they were filling in those gaps, except for on one play where they allowed a running back to get like 13, 14, 15 yards. Yeah, but I really felt like the defensive line couldn't get home, and you couldn't put that was because of the elusiveness of Justin Fields because a lot of the plays were breakdowns, right? And when he got outside. Uh, Emmanuel mostly missed the sack. Eric Armstead missed that sack. He had him. He slipped and fell, missed it. That was the sack. I think that's why Hufanga went home. <laughs> like, oh, it's about to be a sack. Yep. Shoom, he darted to the to the to the ball. Swarm, right? And unfortunately, he got out. But there were at least three missed sacks. Missed four, three to four. Oh. What's it called? Uh, the very first, uh, you had Samson get it the first sack on the first third down. And then he wide open missed tackle, which Samson had zero missed tackles all of last year through the entire regular season playoffs. Very first game, he has a missed tackle and it allows for a converted third down scramble. That was early in the game. They recovered. They didn't give up any points on that drive. But you're right. Armstead had a miss. Um, Omenihu had a miss. Oh my God. Drake had a miss. But yeah, even Bosa missed one on field. The 49ers Rush Podcast.